Umali a Karen player. RMV maintains that he is a Vega player. We'll see if he uses some Yurian though. Some six stick setup, some button checks coming our way. We got Sage join us on commentary. Alrighty. All righty, we got broken chairs. Yep, got broken chairs and some fight sticks. It's high quality mics and a high quality stream. Shout out to Jackson. Some small ass headphones. <laughs> Baby, you got a small They're comfortable. <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. They should be more comfortable if that was the case. <laughs> uh, were you commentating my match that I just played? Technically. <laughs> I, I was sitting here, Jared. <laughs> <laughs> that match is mentally exhausting. All right. Back and forth, a lot of pressure. Uh, okay, RNP is gonna go with Vega. Oh, I forgot. It's gonna do something on my phone. Dan Slip congratulating Sage. On his uh, winner's yes. final set. Thank you, Dan Slip. I see you, man. Round one. Fight. Right, here we go. And it's gonna start with some whiff normals. And Karen sweep, better range. <laughs> Vega crouch fierce. That crouch fierce works though. Alright, gets a grab, gets Karen in the corner, but she's not having none of that. Stuffs that stuff. Stuffs that stuff. I like how you put that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it, I like it. Ooh, good air to air to stuff the uh, EX Barcelona drop. Izuna drop. <laughs> <laughs> One of those two. Where are wall dive. EX wall dive. Yeah, there you go. A common knowledge term. Round two. Point. Okay, whiffs over his head, but it's big, uh, caught pushing a button the other way. He's unable to punish. But find some damage there. Has Karen in the corner. Has a good life lead and high stun. Goes for the drop, gets the stun. Drops the combo though. Still a big old life lead. In fact, working on a perfect, and he gets the perfect. Final round. Fight. <laughs> Yo, lands that jump in. Not quite sure why Karen ate that. I missed the perfect while I was on my phone. Yes. Gosh. Oh, Karen here with fucking full stick of buddy. Karen pokes almost full of each meter too. There it is. Uh, but down a little bit on life in the corner. We'll get whiff grab punish. Okay. Okay. One for the reach name. And. As much as RNV claims that Vega is bottom five, uh, he's doing okay. He believes he's bottom five in season two? That is what he claims moments ago to me. <laughs> mm. I'm not sure I can agree with that. There are some <laughs> horrendous characters out there. Right now. I'm not saying he's like top tier. That was good. 
I'm not and saying that, Vega is yeah. great, but I'm just saying to say he's bottom five is kind of stretching. When you got a, you know, Alex and Fong down there, <laughs> you know, and then you got um, Ryu. Ryu is definitely <laughs> bottom five. Ryu's <laughs> falling so far. <laughs> Ryu is definitely bottom five. <laughs> he's just, he just can't do anything. His his game plan is just really, really <laughs> bad, and he's just like getting abused. Like I, I'm, a, I'm a believer that like characters are designed to fight Shoto's. Like that's like their idea when they make yeah, a character. Yeah. But then it's like, like it. Then they, then they nerf the Shoto after that balance. Yeah, I'm just like, damn. <laughs> like, I mean, like Street Fighter. Fight I feel like Shoto. I feel like Street Fighter in general. Like when they just make a character. Like even since like Street Fighter 2, like, they designed them to fight the Shoto's because like they have the tools. Yeah. But like, like yeah. that's why Ryu does so much damage because. You know, he does kind of have to deal with the opponent's tools, and the opponent has to deal less with his tools. So if yeah. he does get a hit, it does a lot. But now it's like, light kick, you can't even, you know, it's, <laughs> his light kick range is just, like, really bad. Because there's a lot of safe, I mean, not safe, but there's a lot of minus four things in this game that right. uh, he just can't punch. Oh, the EX uppercut. Just keep hitting buttons. Keep hitting buttons <laughs> until it's over. Um, I'm trying to think. Who else would I? I, I have to look at the characters, but I this definitely do not think that they get down. I feel like there has to be some other. I just have to, I have to look at the characters. Cross under throw reset. Catches him low. Doesn't convert to any damage. Stand switch. You know, that was a good Ooh, decision by Molly to just jump right there. Because taking the mix-up is, is kind of tragic. And sometimes he's getting hit out the air. Oh, right now he is he's getting hauled. Yeah. Yeah. spin that ball. Oh, he's alive. Okay. So we have a chance. Uh, the overhead will finish the a chance. I thought. Samurai. Uh. Ooh, excuse me. <laughs> excuse me, guys. All right. Karen's got the helmet now, so she can take a couple extra hits. <laughs> Imagine. Keeping the helmet. Can keep to the end of the round? Oh. Uh, it's like a Babality thing. Like, as long as the helmet's on, you know, it's a one side match. <laughs> See, that was a good air to air by um, Umali to get out that EX wall dive in the corner. Because Vega's a. Uh, uh, he tried to go for the slot. Oh, Ooh, jumps the good neutral throw. jump the command throw. But um, as I was saying, um, Vega's EX wall dive in the corner goes comes down faster in the corner than mid screen. Two. He has the crush counter. She has the meter for super. RNV standing up already. He's Umali done. mashing like a madman. <laughs> and Umali takes it. Umali takes it. That will bring up KDZ versus Umali.